I was 16 years old, and um, I just finished high school. And um, we go on holiday, but just before holiday, he put me aside. And I've said this to my mom, so I think my dad and I had private conversations, so it's quite surprising, which is, I, I feel kind of privileged, I guess, because she didn't know this. And he said to me, I don't have enough money to put both of you you and your sister? My sister and I, like you going to IB and your sister going into high school. And the kind of person I am, like, if you ask my mom, I'd hear someone saying in the house, hey, there's no milk. And I'd find, I'd find some change somewhere and find myself down at the kiosk. And everyone's looking for me because I wanted to solve the problem. <laughs> you know, so, so I said to my dad, I said, let me go to London because, you know, I'm a British citizen. I can go to school for free, and Bahati can go to high school. And he goes, no, 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 not going to happen. So when we went on holiday to the UK, I don't know, I came up with some dumb excuse, and I said, dang. So my mom, my mom and I, I think, are quite similar, so we just had a bit of a bashing. She told me the other day she cried for days, so that made me feel nice, because I wasn't of sure. Of course, her baby. <laughs> I thought she was like, fine, go, wah. <laughs> but she told me the other day I was like oh yay she loves me but anyway so like <laughs> so so my dad and I think because we had had the conversation because I, w I was actually surprised that he trusted me enough and I think that also gave me confidence to make sure that I didn't F this up you know because I'm 16 I'm in the UK now he stayed a week behind with me I found a job I found a place to stay and was then he the job? left. I was a waitress. And on the first day, I broke all the ashtrays. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> was it intentional? Are you anti-smoking? No, <laughs> no, I don't know. I think it was nerves. It was the real job I had, you know, so. Yeah. Okay, so he leaves you in the UK. And then what? How, what was that like for you? I think, I think it was a finding mission because I, I, I no longer had, Mommy, what should I do? And Daddy, what should I do? And obviously, I had something to prove. So I couldn't call home every now and then, you know, all the time. And also, I didn't have, um, just being candid, the white side of my family is not too, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. We've never actually, like, had the conversation as to why we're not close. But it's one of those things where it would be like, oh, yeah, we'll see you in December. <laughs> For a weekend. No, 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 not even a weekend, like lunch. So oh. I didn't feel like if I was in trouble, I could ever call. So I did have family, but it was my parents' kind of very close friends. Okay. So, so yeah. Oh, and so all this time I was thinking you're in the UK because you're part British that, you know, well, you're Irish. But um, that, yes, yeah, so you had family there. They're leaving you. You're no, 16 years old. No, you have to remember, old. like, being a priest in those days was, like, very prestigious. So my father has just left his prestigiousness come to Africa and marry the woman. It's oh, like, wow. are you mad? He, fa he failed exponentially. <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, but I mean, I saw, there's a day I saw him cry after getting off, off the phone. And I wanted to know, but he never, er, ever let us know when he was, you know, weak about anything. So I just thought, ah, maybe something happened to the brother. I don't know. I didn't, I, till this day, I don't know. 